Today we'll answer the question, what is your totem animal? Well, for me, it's an animal small enough that I can totem around. But hey, I can't speak for everyone. Somewhere deep inside, every person has their own spirit animal. But today, we're not talking about just any animal, but mythical creatures. Are you ready to find out which one lives within you? Whoa, like in Alien? No? Oh good. Then this test is just what you need. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated here on the Bright Side. Now, before we start, you better grab a pen and a piece of paper to write down how many points each answer will bring you. At the end, you'll sum up all your points using addition and find out what creature drives your spirit. Now, let's get into it. Number 1. Imagine there are only two seasons in the year. Which ones would you choose? A. Spring and fall. B. Summer and winter. C. Spring and summer. D. Fall and winter. E. Summer and fall. Answer A is worth 50 points. B. Brings you 30 points. If you opted for C, you get 40 points. Answer D is 20 points. And if you've chosen answer E, write down 10 points. Question 2. Where do you feel most comfortable? A. In a colorful autumn forest. B. In a big, hectic city. C. Near a large body of water, like a lake, river, or the ocean. D. In a park near my house in the summer. E. In the mountains. If your answer is A, write down 20 points. Answer B adds 50 points to your tally. C is worth 40 points. If you pick D, you get 30 more points. And answer E brings you 10 points. Number 3. Who is your favorite superhero? A. I have the greatest respect for Doctor Strange. B. I admire the Flash for his awesome speed. C. I wish I could be as strong as the Hulk. D. I prefer Wolverine. E. Who could be better than Spider-Man? Answer A is worth 30 points. B brings you 40 points. If you've opted for C, you get 10 points. Answer D is 20 points. And if you've chosen answer E, write down 50 points. Number 4. What kind of people do you prefer to talk to? A. Smart and sarcastic. B. Cute and funny. C. Intelligent and introverted. D. Energetic and witty. E. Kind and wise. If your answer is A, write down 10 points. Answer B makes your score 20 points higher. C is worth 40 points. If you pick D, add 50 points to your score. And answer E brings you 30 points. Number 5. If you could build your perfect home anywhere on Earth, what location would you choose? A. On a tall mountain away from civilization. B. In a small town where everybody knows each other. C. On an island with only about 25 other people. D. At a popular and expensive beach resort. E. In the country, surrounded by a huge garden. Answer A is worth 10 points. B brings you 20 points. If you went for C, you get 30 points. Answer D is 50 points. And if you've chosen answer E, write down 40 points. Number 6. If you could be an object, which would it be? A. A beautiful rare flower in a botanical garden. B. A brand new gadget everyone wants to have. C. A super fast race car. D. An old tree that's home to a family of squirrels. E. A mysterious cave full of treasures and traps. If your answer is A, write down 20 points. Answer B will add 50 points to your score. C is worth 10 points. If you've picked D, add 40 points to your tally. And answer E brings you 30 points. Number 7. Choose the word you like the most. A. Happy. B. Powerful. C. Mysterious. D. Kind. E. Rich. Answer A is worth 50 points. B. Brings you 20 points. 
If you've opted for C, you get 30 points. Answer D is 40 points. And if you chose answer E, write down 10 points. Number 8. How do you deal with your problems? A. First, I create a plan. Then, I get down to making it happen. B. I research the issue and find the solution online. C. I usually ignore the problem until it either disappears or reaches its boiling point. D. Problems? I don't have any of those. E. I always improvise. In most cases, it works out fine. Answer A gives you 40 more points. Answer B is a whopping 50 points. C is worth 10 points. If you pick D, add 30 points to your score. And award yourself 20 points for choosing E. Number 9. What's your favorite way to recharge? A. A nice long walk on the beach. B. A delicious meal shared with my friends in a good restaurant. C. Playing my favorite computer games. D. Sleeping and napping all day long. E. Going out, maybe to the movies, a bar, or a nightclub. Answer A is worth 40 points. You get 10 points for choosing B. If you pick C, you get 20 points. Answer D is 30 points. And if you've chosen answer E, write down 50 points. Number 10. What's your favorite movie genre? A. I watch mostly action films. B. Ah, there's nothing better than a good old dramedy. C. Horror movies all the way. D. The more epic, the better. E. How can anyone live without criminal thrillers and mysteries? If your answer is A, write down 10 points. Answer B gets 20 points. C will get you 50 more points. If you pick D, add 30 points to your score. And answer E gives you 40 points. Now, use your mathematical skills, add up your points, and let's see your result. If you've got 100 to 160 points, your spirit animal is a dragon. You do everything to achieve your goals and become successful. It's important for you to be well off and respected by others. Your sense of purpose helps you overcome difficulties that appear on your way to the top. You appreciate and treasure your friends and family, just like dragons protect their gold. If you came out with 170 to 230 points, your spirit animal is a unicorn. Unicorns are magical creatures whose horns have healing properties. That's exactly how your words influence those around you. You give great advice, but never impose your own opinion on others. Your mere presence has a calming effect on those who feel agitated and nervous. You're just like your spirit animal, which symbolizes peace and prosperity. If you have 240 to 300 points, your spirit animal is a sphinx. Sphinxes can see into people's souls which explains your innate ability to see the essence of things. Despite your understanding of human nature, you often keep your thoughts to yourself so that you don't come off as insensitive. And like the Sphinx, if there's some threat to your loved ones, you turn into a ferocious creature ready to destroy anyone who's hurt your close ones. If your score is from 310 to 370 points, your spirit animal is a Pegasus. Now, a pegasus is a breathtaking white stallion with beautiful, elegant wings. Just like this mythical animal, you value your freedom. You fulfill your obligations dutifully and earnestly. You have a brave and caring soul. People love your loyalty and inner strength. Just keep believing in yourself and you will fly. If you ended up with 380 to 440 points, your spirit animal is a kitsune. These Japanese multi-tailed shape-shifting foxes love playing tricks on people. Sure, they like to have fun, but they're also faithful and loyal friends. Not to mention, they can be very wise. In fact, the more tails a kitsune has, the wiser and more powerful it is. Your wit, sharp mind, and sense of humor make you especially attractive to all kinds of different people. 
If you have 450 to 500 points, your spirit animal is a phoenix. You have a bright personality and a wonderful ability to bounce right back even after some serious failures. You usually focus on the big picture, as if you can see the world from above. This helps you understand things that others aren't able to see. Keep flying high and not letting life's troubles bring you down. So, what's your spirit animal? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends to compare your results, and hit that subscribe button to stay on the bright side of life.